So hey everybody, it's TR, and I'm back with a new feature that I'm going to be uh, doing on the channel here occasionally, and it's called Geek Speak. Every once in a while I get questions asked of me from the various forums and uh, places that I like to hang out uh, on the internet, so to say. And I had a fellow over on IRV2, and that's, uh, if you don't know about it, you should, because it's probably one of the best uh, RV forums out there. It's been around quite a long time. It's at www.irv2.com. Two, as in the number two. I'm on quite a few of the forums over there, particularly around the Newmar uh, RVs and stuff. And a fellow out there asked me how I did the straight lines in Google Earth that I presented in my directional antenna video, uh, where I added a directional antenna to my WeBoost 4G-X RV cell phone booster. Anyway, he asked how I did that, and I thought, well, that might be fun. I've uh, had in my mind that I was going to be doing some more technical kinds of things, and in the near future, uh, on my list now are uh, surge protection and uh, AC monitoring, Not uh, that's AC voltage monitoring. Uh, I've got a project coming up for that, so uh, those will kind of all fit into this geek speak, tech speak, whatever you want to call it. Today what we've got is, uh, this is Google Earth and how I do straight line paths to look at the profile of the Earth underneath that path. And not just straight line paths, I should say, but tracing paths along roads and trails and various other things. So uh, let's take a look at that over here on my workstation. So let's just take a minute here and familiarize you with the interface for Google Earth. Here's your map view. And then over here are views that control what you're seeing in the map view. So you can change the size by scrolling in and out. All right. Uh, you can move around by clicking on the arrows here. You can change what perspective is up. I tend to try to run mostly with north up. Uh, because that's the way most maps are presented in books and on paper. So uh, you try to run north up as much as possible, but obviously you can rotate it completely 360 degrees. Right, so that's all done over here. Or, and this is the way I generally run it, you can use the scroll button on your mouse to scroll up and down. You can take it with the hand here and take and click and drag to rotate in any numerous direction you want. There's the Milky Way. That's interesting. So I, I really like playing with Google Earth, so that's why I've kind of guess figured out how to uh, do a lot of the stuff that I do with it. I thought what I'd do is show you how I did the Leap and Lizard straight line, if you will. It's really very really simple. And then I thought I'd show you a little bit more complex project I did and I'm still working on over at the Mokai Dugway in uh, Utah. So let's start with the Verizon one. And uh, so let's just bring that path up. And while that's zooming in, let's just turn on some of the labels that I was using. And at the time I was staying out here in Leap and Lizard, which is right there at Ocotillo Wells, California. In the general area around Leap and Lizard, there's basically no cell phone signal, or there's some uh, analog signal available, but you know, you can make a phone call maybe. <laughs> it was pretty sketchy. Uh, so uh, I did make the modifications I did. But since this is about Google, uh, we're just gonna come over here and I'll show you basically how I drew a straight line. Let me clear these up here real quick. And we'll keep this one here. We need Leap and Lizard. We need the Rise and Cell Tower. We can turn that off. So what you do is you come up here and you grab a path. And so paths are the third one in here. All right. Give it a name. This is totally optional, but I highly recommend it. So we're going to call this one Verizon Line of Sight. All right. Now you're ready to digitize, which means you're going to click on every point you want on that line. We only want a straight line, so we're only going to put two points on. Let's go over here to Leap and Lizard. I'm just scrolling in with the mouse. And I'm going to come in here. One of the things that's missing in this application is the ability to snap. Uh, that would mean to collect right on and get at the same exact point as that pin. But we're just going to mark it there because that'll be close enough. And let's zoom out and let's just Oops, and I see what I did, uh, which is no big deal. Okay, I meant to uh, scroll over and I forgot I was in digitized mode. So you can see it drew all these points. Each one of these little red blocks is a point on that line. Easy enough to correct, just start by hitting the delete key. And just back up. 
now we're back at the original point. You can kind of see that little blue square on it still. And so we're going to come in here and we'll make a point right there. And then we're done. Okay, so that's all there is to that. Then uh, if you want to see the elevation profile, okay, that would be the cross section of the ground underneath that line. You say show elevation profile. And then Google goes out and it'll calculate that for you and present it here at the bottom of the screen. So this is basically a cross section of this line looking into the surface of the earth underneath the line. And that's all there is to basically doing it. Now let me show you a little bit funner, more complicated one. We'll zoom over here to the Mokai Dugway. What the Mokai Dugway is, is this is a gravel road that takes you from the plain here which is in the Valley of Gods uh, right outside of uh, Mexican Hat and Bluff Utah and I started working on a video a while back and I kind of got stumped on how to do some of what I was trying to do so I put it aside and thought I'd come back to it later and I still have plans to do that but what you see there is is let me go change that so you can actually see it okay and let me make it a little bigger so you can see that so if you want to control all those properties color and width and size and so on and so forth you just come over here to the properties and then style and color our color here is this blue let's change it to something brighter like red and then we want to make the line fatter so we're just going to up the width and I want that redder Now, uh, you can see I had the opacity turned down. We're going to come up to 100% on that. And then let's say OK. And now you can see that line that I've traced through there. How I did that was, so we picked up a path. I'm going to call this Mokai 2. I'm not going to complete this because uh, you don't want to see me do all of it. And neither do I. And we'll start right here at this road. And then basically you can see I'm just going to digitize along the road. What Google Earth does is it snaps to the elevation and it makes it a lot easier and it works a lot better if you're snapping to a road like this. All right, so we're all good. We're just going to leave that as that. I've digitized this entire path. Okay, you can see that I got off in a few places. And so if you were really, really, really worried about that, you can actually come in here and you can come over here and say properties. It brings up the properties pane. You come down here, you can click on a point, and you can adjust that point. Like I probably can get rid of that. Let's bring that one in here. Let's bring that out of there. Oh, there's a couple points in there. Okay, so let's do this. All right. Now let's look at the profile on that one. Um, some of the fun stuff that you can do with this is you can do uh, flight lines and paths with it. So you can come in here and you see I came down here and clicked on this. And what it's going to do is it's going to follow that path. I think you get the idea. I don't want to have to sit here and record the whole thing. And then you can kind of goof around with the settings on it. adjust your altitude, your eye view, all those sorts of things. So basically that's how you use Google Earth to plot points and paths on Google Maps and get elevation profiles. Hope you found that useful. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. You never know what's coming next. It'll uh, be whatever just tickles my fancy, I guess. <laughs> Until we get together again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace.